in terms of value added? Yeah. Okay. So basically, when it comes to scale scores and everything, one of, you know one of the issues with value added in its implementation in Louisiana is that let's take an elementary school, for example. You've got Iowa testing, then you've got iLeap, you've got LEAP, and the data doesn't really quite add up year to year to year. And what PARC is designed in mind is not only for you to be able to use data throughout the year, like a Dibbles framework for benchmarking, so you can do your responsive intervention. What PARC is aimed at is between multiple years. If you have eight common core standards, and you have those standards from kindergarten to 12th grade, in various forms of complexity, but the same standards, you can trace data between years. The tests are all on the same scale. So you don't need to worry if a child is at third grade performing at an 80 on their PARC assessment, you know that if at the end of fourth grade, if you did everything standard just like that teacher and that, that, that child stayed the course, so to speak, you could expect an 80 on that fourth grade exam. They're trying to normalize and make everything standard between grades, so there's none of this I leap to leap comparison. And that also has some really profound effects for value added data and just seeing student trend. Because even if you, you know, crush the scales, normalize them, it's very difficult to say, you know, the difference between leap, I leap, et cetera. This should make our kit a lot easier for educators to look at the data and be able to use it for instructional purposes. Editing will be embedded in response answers, and it is vital that educators create a culture, a culture of literacy within their classroom. Research should be ongoing, use of few texts, and dig deeper. Teach and use a variety of modes of writing and place more emphasis just the 